All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, YouTube world. It's Casual Friday. I'm a Bernicini Hawaiian shirts. We are here today to talk about tank trucks, tank trucks 101. Whether it's the motor carrier or the MC or the Department of Transportation, the DOT, we're going to talk about different types of hazmat tankers and ways that you might be able to remember or at least identify them if you see them. All right, we're going to start off with MC numbers. MC is going to start with a three. If it is a DOT, it's going to start with a four. And there's a couple of exceptions where a DOT won't have a rating for it. And we'll talk about those when we get there. But right now, I want to start with the MC306. It has an oval shape on the back. It has a ladder on the back in the middle. There's a walkway all the way down the length of the tank. And on the side, you will see discharge outlets. One of those is actually a vent return, but regardless, you'll see a bunch of pipe outlets on the side middle with a ladder in the rear middle of an oval tank for the MC-306s. This is a DOT-406. And what they carry is they carry predominantly flammable liquids. Rare exceptions, you will find water and milk. But when you see this oval shaped back, you need to be thinking flammable liquids. The next one we go down to is the MC-307. The MC-307 has a horseshoe shape on the rear, or it could have a round shape on the rear for those uninsulated. Here's the issue with the 307s. They have the discharge on the rear center and the ladder on the side middle. The exact opposite of what the 306 did. These also carry flammable liquids, but they will carry mild corrosives. That's light acids, light bases, light caustics. They will carry toxic liquids. These have a higher pressure rating. These are three to five PSI. These are up to 40 PSI. Now, if you're in a country that uses bar, I'm sorry, I don't know the correlation, the, the translation from, from PSI into bar. We're to come down. MC312s, DOT412s. MC306, DOT406, MC307, DOT407, MC312, DOT412. These have a rear discharge of a round tank, but it's a smaller diameter than a 307 would be. The 312 will have the ladder on the side rear or the rear side. It won't have both of those ladders. I was just letting you see that it will be on the side rear or the rear side. The big identifier for the 312 or the 412 are the concentric ring that go, they've got reinforcement ribs that run the length every foot to two feet. On a 307, you might see some ribs on that round tank, but you're only gonna see five or six on the whole length of the tank. This one, you're gonna see them every foot to two feet because the 312, 412s carry heavy corrosives. They're very dense liquids. As an example, gasoline weighs about six and a quarter pounds a gallon. Water weighs about eight and a third, eight and a half pounds a gallon. Sulfuric acid weighs 16 pounds a gallon. Double the density that the water that could be in that 306. So they've got to reinforce that tank. So far we've gone over Ladder placements and discharge placements. 
The 312, since it carries acid, you don't want the ladder where the discharge is at, which is why it's on the side rear or the rear side. Now we're gonna get into the 331. There is no DOT number for a 331. It is just the MC331, and you'll notice that it's a long oval. There's no ladder, and there's no ladder because even though you see a round entrance point on the top, it's bolted down with what seems like 50 bolts and the reason why is because that's not for you to access the 331s carry pressurized liquefied gases they carry propane they carry chlorine they carry ammonia stuff you don't want to access because if you do bad things happen really bad things happen so there's a hose discharge on a reel Go down to the 338s. Now, this is looking at the rear end of it. It's got a rounded top with cabinet doors, or it's got tall, full height cabinet doors, or it's got half height cabinet doors and a chimney on a, on a cylindrical tank. Key focus on this guy right here. I want you to think of that side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. What do you have in there? Cold. What do you have in a 338? You have cold. Those cabinet doors are your, are your identifier that you have cryogenics. Stuff that's negative 147 degrees or colder, you don't want to get it on you. It'll get frostbite quick on your hands. 338s are cold. Burr. All right, now let's talk about the DV, the pH. If I have a dry bulk carrier, or I have a pneumatic hopper, DBPH, see that W? See all those Vs? I want you to think about the letters. When you got the DB, the dry bulk, the PH, the pneumatic hopper, you got the W bottoms, the V bottoms. I want you to think, if you're not rural, please bear with me on this one and just pretend that you at one time in your life got to milk a cow. On a cow, they've got an udder. And the udder has milk discharge ports. They're called teats, but I'm trying to make this family friendly. The stuff that comes out of the bottom of the teats of that udder is what you're looking for. Now, I said milk, but once you've, once you've milked that cow, there's nothing left in there. That udder is dry. It's utterly dry. Dry bulk pneumatic hoppers. You want the stuff that's in there to stay dry, but it all comes out of the bottoms. Last thing we have, you'll notice I have a box and that box is just a regular old shipping container. What can it have in it? It can have anything in it. So Connex boxes, 20 footers, 40 footers, high cubes, the tall ones, they can have whatever there is in there. There's one more type of hazmat trailer that you might see on the roads and it carries pressurized gases in volume. And what you've got is you have a really long cylinder on a flat bed. And that really long cylinder may or may not have a cabinet on the back end that will have a bunch of piping to it. Now that one cylinder might be one, or it might be two. Side by side, it might be three stacked up in a pyramid. It might be five stacked up, sorry, six stacked up in a pyramid. They can be stacked up on top of each other. You can have up to 12 cylinders, 6,000 PSI a piece. Different gases, same gases. Compressed gas tube trailers are exactly that. They're compressed gas tubes on a trailer. Those, my friends, are the different types of 
hazmat tankers that you might find out on the roads with their MC or their DOT with their M4 number for the 306, 307, 312. I'm Glenn Trahan. This is Hazmat Friday. Thank you.